Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. So in this video, I want to talk about flam rolls. Now, as I understand it, flam rolls are part of the Swiss rudiments, but what I've done is taken the roll family from the 26 standard American rudiments, and I've applied flams to them, and that's what you heard at the start of this video. So what I'm gonna do is just basically show you what I'm doing, and then I'll just play through the, uh, the roll family of rudiments. Now, those rolls are the five-stroke roll, the seven stroke roll, the nine stroke roll, the 10 stroke roll, the 11 stroke roll, the 13 and the 15. So what I'm doing is I'm placing a flam at the start of the roll. So the flam is not on the resolving note, but actually on the start of the roll. So let me start with the five stroke roll. The five stroke roll, and I'm gonna count these as 16th notes, one E and a two, three E and a four. So the five stroke roll without the flam would sound like this. So it's right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. So all I'm doing is putting a flam at the start of the roll. Pretty simple stuff. I'm also putting a little accent at the start as well. So wherever I place a flam, I'll also place an accent. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You can also play the five stroke roll in three, four. So I'm gonna play it without the flam first. One, two, three. And with the flam, one, two, three. That one in particular is quite a difficult one to play up to speed. I can't really play that one up to speed yet, but um, I'm working on it. The next roll in the family of rolls is the seven stroke roll. I'll count this in four, four. I'll leave the flam off. One, two, three, four. And now I'll add the flam. One, two, three, four. So depending on where your chops are at, you can go from 16th notes and double that into 32nd notes. So let me try that with the seven stroke roll. One, two, three, four. And there's a variation for the seven stroke roll, which starts with the accent on the right hand and then the roll commencing with the left hand. So I'll play that without the flam. One, two, three, four. And with the flam, one, two, three, four. Now this one's a good one to play around the kit because the roll starts with the left hand with the flam, we can actually split that flam between two voices. I'll play that for you slowly. The next roll is the nine stroke roll. This is in three, four. So I'll play it first without the flam as 16th notes. One, two, three. And this time with the flam, one, two, three.
The next roll is the 10 stroke roll. This is one of my favorites. This is also in three, four. Again, I'll play it without the flam first. One, two, three. Now with the flam, one, two, three. The next one is the 11 stroke roll, also in three, four. Again, without the flam. One, two, three. And with the flam. One, two, three. The next roll is the 13 stroke roll. Now we're in four, four, without the flam. One, two, three, four. And this time with the flam. One, two, three, four. Now the 13 stroke roll along with the nine stroke roll and the five stroke roll alternate. So it's important to make sure that your flams are symmetrical. Now what I mean by that is to make sure that your right hand flams sound the same as your left hand flams. Um, I've done a video on flam symmetry for you to check out so I'll leave a link to that below. The final roll in this family is the 15 stroke roll. Again, this is in four four. I'll play it without the flam first. One two, three, four. And with the flam. One, two, three, four. These flam rolls are really great hand exercises, but in addition to that, they are a great addition to your vocabulary. As you heard me play at the start of this video, I was just improvising, um, just trying to throw these things wherever I could. So I suggest once you feel comfortable and familiar with these things, just mess around, you know, on a pad or on a snare drum, trying to make some music out of it. So they're not just hand exercises, but something that you could use in your improvisation. Now, if you're interested in downloading the PDF that accompanies this lesson, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video, which is every week. So until next week, have a great week, happy practicing, have fun with this stuff, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.